a crate with a weight of 500 newtons needs a force of 66 newtons in order to move with a constant velocity. Calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction between it and the ground. Draw a free body diagram. To be honest, I would suggest you draw a free body diagram every single time. Now we know something about forces in that direction. And do we know a force? Yep, force due to gravity equals 500 newtons. And because the problem says that it is not accelerating towards the center of the Earth, we know that the force normal equals 500 newtons as well. Now, needs a force of 66 newtons, so we know that there is a force push of 66 newtons. But this term constant velocity means that there is also a force acting in the opposite direction known as force friction and that is also 66 newtons. If it weren't a constant velocity that would mean that the push was not the same number as the friction and your net force would be not zero. Alright, we have a free body diagram. Let's do the math. So, what do we know? We know that the force normal equals 500 newtons and we know that the force due to friction and in this case it's kinetic is 66 newtons and we are looking for Mew. kinetic now most of the times I'd be looking for a unit here but Mew. coefficients of friction do not have any units and the equation is the fun equation. The force of friction kinetic equals Beep. kinetic times force normal. If I replace numbers for letters, force of friction static is 66 newtons equals Beep. kinetic times force normal, and in this case that's 500. In order to get kinetic all by itself on the right hand side, I'm going to divide by 500, and that cancel cancels. But whatever I do to the right, I have to do to the left. And when I do my math, I get 0.13 Two. Now, you can apply significant figures, but in Mr. Fay's class, I consider that 0 0.13. And that is my answer.